Hello everyone. In this video, I have taken a very interesting topic that how to send email via REST API in Power Automate. So in this video, I will be showcasing how you can send emails using REST endpoint and that REST endpoint is underscore API slash sp.utilities.utility.sendemail. So by using this REST endpoint or API, we will be able to send emails notifications. Now, you must be thinking that why this video is very interesting. This video is very interesting because we already know that there are multiple options which are already available as pre-built or inbuilt actions in Power Automate. Then you must be thinking that why this rest endpoint is required and that's where the interesting part come into picture for this video so i will be talking about option one so we already know that there are multiple actions inbuilt actions in power automate already available to send the emails for example send an email version two or version one send an email notification send email with options and many more so this is the option one of sending the emails in Power Automate. The option two is you can post adaptive cards in MS Teams. So this scenario comes into picture. Let's say you are working on multiple level approval workflows or approval workflows and you want to post an adaptive card in MS Teams for the approvers so that in MS Teams itself, they can approve or reject or precisely take a decision on the request submitted by the user so that is also possible that is the option two instead of sending the email you can post an adaptive card and wait for a response in ms teams now option three send grid so send grid is something uh, which is an email service which can be used in power automate as well so there are particular actions which are available for send grid in Power Automate, which you need to enable. That is also one of the option. So precisely I'm saying, let's say you are working on a scenario where uh, there is a multi-level approval workflows uh, requirement, which needs to be implemented in Power Automate. And after every action, you have to send the email to the requester or to the approver. It's a very, very, uh, I will say common scenario in any of the project. And guys, as you already know, I always create videos on the practical scenarios only. All right. Now coming to the fourth option, which is the important intent for this particular video is using the rest endpoint. Now, why I created this video? Just a small background. So in my case, in while working on one of the business requirement, what happened? That the environment in which we were working, the send email was not possible to use. Why it was not possible that the client was not using Exchange Online. So we will not be able to use Office 365 Outlook or something like that to send an email. So this option one was gone in our case. Now option two, again, MS Teams posting an adaptive card in MS Teams that was also restricted by their admin, by the client admin. Option three, SendGrid. Definitely, this could be uh, integrated, but again, SendGrid email service subscription needs to be taken by the client. So that's where I thought that what is the other way if these three options are not possible? So other way around which I figure it out is the rest endpoint and which I'm going to show you now in this video that how you can implement it. So let's see this in action. So I'm going to the Power Automate screen directly. In this Power Automate uh, flow, I have created a flow. I have just added the trigger, manually trigger, just for the demo purpose. I have added a variable. Now this variable, uh, what this variable is doing, it's just creating the email body. I have created or added a simple HTML. A simple HTML I have added uh, for this variable. The variable name is var email body of type string. Now the important part is the send HTTP request to SharePoint where we will be calling the API or the REST endpoint. So I have added the site address. The method in this case is going to be post. Please remember the URI underscore API slash sp.utilities.utility.send. 
send email is the API which we have to use while sending the email or for sending the email notifications. Headers, I have used content type and accept. Now body, this is also again very important in the body uh, as a JSON uh, properties, you have to mention two body and the subject. So in the two, I have added my hard coded email. Please remember, even if you add the hard coded email or maybe some kind of uh, variable string or maybe an array, you have to always use this square brackets while passing the two parameter. If you will not add this square brackets in the start and the end, there will be an error in your Power Automate flow. The body, I have taken the variable bare email body, which I created in the previous step and the subject, just a random subject. So that is how you can send the emails in Power Automate. So let's test this scenario. I'm going to uh, click on test and then I'm going to test it manually. I have tested clicked on test and it is loading it's just using the sign in the flow uses the following apps okay i'm giving the permission click on continue run flow and few milliseconds you will see the flow will run and now the flow has ran the flow has ran successfully which means the email must have been triggered in my mailbox so let's go to the outlook my mailbox you can see here a new email has arrived in the uh, mailbox which is a new request has been submitted new request submitted the same text which we added in the power automate flow so that's all in this video what i wanted to basically showcase here is that how you can use the rest api endpoints as well while sending the email notifications in power automate thank you keep watching my videos and keep commenting Bye-bye.